I could put this here. All right, cool. That way everything's that way sort of everything. where it needs to be. Good. All right, refresh this. All right, let's play around this move this. Actually, let me plug this in. Uh, hold on. Plug in this phone. Give me one second. Alright, cool. Let's bring this up. Alright, cool. Everything looks good. Yes, on point. We're all good. Everybody's happy. We got our cups with our drinks out of the frame. Fantastic. You know, one thing I do need to do, we need to open that picture from earlier, which would have been right here. And that was this one, the sci-fi scene study. We need to export this to the slideshow. We did not put this in the slideshow. As a matter of fact, I'm not even sure we put the other one in there. Did we? File open. We didn't put this in there, did we? File export. I believe we already have one just called wizard. So we may have to call it like wizard two. What did we call that? Uh, undead wizard. So we can just call it wizard. Okay, cool. Get rid of this. We'll just do some maintenance here real quick. Oops. Why to mix it up chat over there? take this and we exported this what about did we get what are we missing I'm sure we're missing some of this but I'm not gonna worry about that I don't think let's open it up and see what we're missing in here let's go graphics vector complete light show there we go. Uh, did we get the Oric? Yeah, we do. We got a Oric. Did we get? Okay, we got that. We got that. Okay, cool. I'm trying to make sure the slideshow is updated and we got everything in there. Actually, give me one sec. I got to turn the ceiling fan on. Give me one second. One sec. I don't know about y'all, but it's warmed up here. Hot. I don't want to sit here and spot check all of these. I just want to make sure that we got what we need because we have. There he is, Wizard. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we've got that. We've got that. Fantastic. Did we put Bird Box in here? We did. Okay, we put bird box. We need to put this in there. Let's export this and we're gonna call it birthday. Yep, okay, good. Trying to get everything in the slideshow. Could we missed a couple things. Let's take this, export you. Post inside check. That's a habit that I have to sort of force myself into and I need to start working on. I really need to pay attention to when I, uh, when I, um, make something I need to make sure that I export it to the slideshow because if it's not in the slideshow it ain't doing us no good I'll take this export this we'll go export and we'll, we'll just leave a scene study too that'll work yeah steam scene study too that works okay what else what else do we need to export to the slideshow we've got we did that we did that we made that today we did that Yep, yep, we did this thing. Hello, Space Cat. I'm positive we did. Hey, Monkey, how you doing? 
weird robot? Yes, we did that. Thanks for the host, man. How are you? You're doing a late night stream. I normally stream earlier on Sundays, but we were tied up, so I wanted to get in and do something tonight. Did we do this? I don't think we did this. I'm doing some maintenance, man. I forgot to... I usually get really good about, like, exporting all this stuff to my, um... Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm usually good about exporting everything out to my slideshow folder so that it runs in the stream, but here lately I've really been dropping the ball on that. So I'm trying to go back and like export things to go in there. Okay, cool. We got that, we got that. Uh, we got all that. Let's go back and check 2018 and make sure there wasn't anything standing out there that I missed. Yeah. Um, night, buddy. Have a good night, monkey. Thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate that. Good to see you. Thanks for the hope, dude. We're going to do a little drawing here in a minute. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, that's good. All right, so I want to start with some, like, robots, I think. We're going to get warmed up. I drew this earlier today. I really like the colors. There were a couple things about it that I sort of want to experiment more on and, and that I want to play with a bit more on, but I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Uh, trying to do more, like, scene stuff. And this was sort of a lead off of this one. So we basically, we made this, and I really like this one, but then I wanted to do something more sci-fi, more futuristic, so we went with this. I um, was really happy with that. That took me about an hour to do, so um, yeah, good times. So let's draw some like little robot things, I'm thinking. But let's see what we can do. Let's just freehand some stuff. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna give this a blue background. Let's get started here. All right, let's do sort of a little, sort of a round, yeah. I want the neck to be more like this. Yeah, we'll go like this, fancy, nice. You know, I thought about playing games tonight on stream, but nah, I didn't want to do it. Power. I wanted to go ahead and do some art, so that's what we're gonna do. Hey there, Count. Thank you for that uh, follow over there on DLive. I appreciate that. Hope you're having a great night. We're just getting started. We're, we're going to do some robots. Uh, I was just doing some maintenance on some of my art. And I needed to export some things out to some slideshow folders that I used for the stream. And so we did that. And now I want to draw some like little sort of cute looking robot things. If you have any questions for me, who I am, what I do, feel free to ask. And thank you for that follow. I want to experiment with making a cute little robot thing, and then we're going to shade it. I want to make this look really unique. I just feel like drawing a robot tonight. I don't know why. And I think after the robot, we might do, like, another scene. I've been doing a lot of scenes lately, trying to get comfortable with sort of scene generation. But we'll see. It is. Very well. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we, um, I'm a creative streamer. I do a lot of vector art, I do pixel art, I do animations, I do all kinds of stuff. But uh, my streams are probably, I'd say, about 100% creative. Very, 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 uh, very heavy on creative. But thank you so much. Gamer Fun Girl, thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. Did my alert not go off? Hold on a second, I will check it. Let me go test it real quick, give me one second. Editor. Lately, my alerts have been a little weird. Let me test it. We got it. Okay. Turn it off. Turn it back on. I think I just need to redo my, uh, redo that, but we'll, we'll play with it. All right, let's get back to those. So this is going to sort of be the scene. So the next thing I want to draw, I'll show you guys real quick. I did this scene the other day right here. This was a scene that I created. And I was really happy with the, the colors in it because I was going for like a really heavy contrast. I didn't want to do just your stereotypical greens and, you know, I really wanted to do something sort of unique. So today, earlier, I did a stream and we drew this. And I sort of wanted to make this futuristic sort of scene with a speeder sort of flying through the scene, right? So that's what we did here. We've got this speeder with this guy here at the helm and you can see the it's sort of you know it's flying through the uh, through the scene here and we went really heavy on the gradients and I really tried to use some 
unique coloring. That way we could sort of create this almost science fiction like fantasy sort of vibe, right? I wanted it to be really neat feeling. Almost almost cyberpunk like. So Yep, good stuff. But I think when we get done drawing whatever we're gonna do here with this little robot, we'll probably go back and do another scene. Because I've been having a lot of fun doing scene studies. Because I don't normally draw scenes, so for me that's sort of a weak point. But I'm trying to get better at it. <clears throat> go here with this leg, and we'll kind of put this here. We'll kind of bring them out. That way they sort of... And if you guys have any questions for me, um, feel free to ask. We are, I'm all welcome to all sorts of questions when it comes to art. Whether it be the softwares I'm using, or whether it be the, uh, the style that I'm doing, or whatever. Feel free to ask. I don't like those feet. I want to do something more like, maybe we'll do little points or something. Let's shade it. Let's shade it, and then we'll, <clears throat> then we'll play with the, yeah, here we go. So we'll take this, make it bigger. There we go. Okay, cool. That shaded that down. And then this is going to be sort of like the scene between the metals, which if you really wanted to get technical, you could do this. You could make a point here. You could make a point here, a point here, and a point here, and then watch this. You take these two points and you drag them back like this. And then you take this point and drag it up. And then you take this point and drag it around. You see how it sort of makes it look like cut in the metal now that's a very fine detail but it does make a difference in the long run uh if you're going for those minimal details like that because some people will notice it some people won't sort of depends on who is uh looking at the image but i find a lot of times that uh people notice the little stuff sometimes more than the big stuff see so i like that so because you can see that little bit of a blue there it sort of creates this image of there's separation between these metal sheets, which is exactly what we want. Perfect, I love that. Okay, so what we'll do now is we're gonna make this the body and I wanna give him a slight turn out. So let's give him a neck. And I wanna do the neck in sort of a different way. We'll take little, uh, do it like this. I have an idea. I don't know if this is gonna work the way I think it is, but we're gonna try it. Let's go like this. And then we'll sort of turn this one in. Right? We do a lot of experimental drawing here. Yeah, I like that. And we'll go like this. I want to make it look like this is sort of a mechanical neck. And something else you guys will see a lot of is like, I'll use some really weird coloring and sizing will be off. Because this is vector art. So it allows me to sort of craft the size later. Once I sort of have it where I want it. So, um, that works out well. So I'm trying to make this almost look humanoid. Like bone. I don't know. Maybe these need to be narrower. Maybe like this. And we'll have this one like this. And we'll have this one really narrow. Sort of like this. Okay, I kind of like that. We'll group it. And then we'll resize it. And we'll sort of just drop it in here like this. You see? Yeah. Looks sort of metallic in a way. And we'll do some shading and whatnot here in a bit. Cool. I like it. All right, so this is going to be that arm, so we need to shade it. So here, grab this color, take it darker. Nice. See that? And then just go a little lighter with it, because you want the shading to be in between this color and that color, right? So it sort of works out. Okay, this will be the neck. Now let's do the head. So this neck, I think, is going to be too long now that I'm looking at it, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Let's go here. I like it. I like it. Yep, neck's too big. Figured it was going to be. Okay, it's all right. Because we can go like that and just do the two. Now, if we look at those two, they're too small. So let's do more like this. Right? And then what we'll do is I want to do sort of like a, I don't know how to say it, almost like a pair of goggles, if that makes sense. So I want it to sort of appear to be wrapped around the head, sort of like this. Thinking like this. 
go. I like that. Yep. All right, cool. We'll give it this color. Uh, yes. So what we'll do is we'll extend these off. Cool part with this is this drawing is not going to take that long at all. Uh, because it's just going to be one little static character. So it should be a pretty, pretty quick picture in terms of things. Or, you know, in the grand scheme here. Let's do it like this. And these will go slightly darker, not much. Okay, yep, I like it. And then what we'll do is I want to do one eye here. We'll kind of go here with it, right? Now, watch this. Cool little trick. We're going to go like this. Copy, paste, paste. We'll drag it over and then watch this. We'll cut this shape out. And then its inner back eye will go even darker. You see that? So it, start, it starts giving it that sort of a 3D depth or 3D space to it. Okay. Now, what we'll do is on this eye, I want to do something different. I want to do almost like a, um, almost like a reticule, like a, almost like a gun eye or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll play with it. All right, cool. Let's do a little bigger. Yep, right there is good. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's do like this. We're going to come in here. We're going to create this shape here. And let's make it um, yellow because I want to do something here. So now we're going to copy it, paste it, make it bigger, send it to one back, and go here with it. Yeah. A little smaller. Okay, now, what I want to do is make this look like a larger shape, right? So if I want this to branch out, then essentially it's going to go like this. Sort of like here, right? And then here for another sort of yellow one. Hold on. We'll go like this, give it the same color. And we can make these different colors or whatever. I don't know how I want to do that yet. I don't know if I want them to be the same or different. Okay, we'll go right there with it. Nice. Okay. Then we'll take you. We'll come down here with it. How far in is this one? Uh, pretty good ways actually so we'll kind of go like this go and we'll make this one smaller and there is a method to this madness I promise you just right now we're sort of figuring out how we want it to look here this color yep nice because again we're going for sort of like a bionic eye in a way or something I don't know I don't really know and we're gonna make it look more round in a minute here let's go here and this one will make the second biggest one. So it'll touch to make contact right there. Nice. Copy, paste, then back one, resize it. All right, you see that? Now, this is going to go here. And so now we have this shape, right? Which almost looks like a Mickey Mouse in a way. <laughs> but it's not. Okay. So we're going to go here with it. I like it. All right, so now, the way I'm going to make this look sort of three-dimensional is the shading on these here, which are going to be sort of like gems or some sort of an orb or eye or something like that. So in order to do this, we will copy, paste, paste, and we'll shade the bottom halves of them. So we'll go here. I'm going to have to do that with a darker color for sure. So here, maybe 20. Yeah. That's what it'll have to be. So here, here, here. And we'll go right about here. 20. Take it. Here, here, here. Um, we'll go there with it. I like it. Uh, we'll go up with it, so sort of in this direction. Right, so, okay, so this is, I guess this is what I wanted. I, I sort of had this, yeah, I like it. Okay, so I want this to look like sort of a more uh, fancy eye, if you will, than what this one is. And I'm thinking this one will do like, we'll do some stuff like this in it. So we'll do some sort of small lighting pattern. So sort of here, go with maybe 40, 60. So it almost looks like a glare over here. 
in a way, which works. Hey, water bottle, how you doing? How is it going this evening? Go 100. Good. Hmm. We're goofing around. We're drawing this little robot thing. I, I sort of felt like drawing a robot again, and now I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. Yeah, she's she's. So my daughter has bad allergies, and every year around this time, things get weird. The best way I can describe it, she sort of. It's it's this never-ending cough, right? And it it's really difficult to get away. Because we have a, a, a buterol with a breathing machine we have to give her. We have like, you know, it, it sort of depends on how bad the cough gets. And then she does have a medicine she can take for it. But we really try not to do that unless we have to. You know? So it's, it's tough. And she hates it because then she has to sit around and she has to do these breathing treatments. And she's got to keep the mask on and she has to, you know... Not exactly fun. Not exactly fun. But what are you gonna do? We do it. Every time this year though, I don't understand. Every time this year rolls around like this, this time of the year, man, it just gets her. It really gets her. Frustrating. What do y'all think of this weird eye? Is it working? We haven't really started doing any shading yet either, guys, so bear with me. Because what I want to do is I want to get up under here and I really want to shade this in sort of like this. And I think what we'll do is we'll kind of come in here and do stuff like this. We'll go maybe 20. Yeah, I like the 20. 20 is feeling good. But now I want to make this a different color. <clears throat> Alrighty. Yeah, we'll be here. I'm just sort of goofing off and uh, trying to see what we can do with this. I don't know, like usual, I don't really know what I'm doing here with this, but we'll get something done. It's not going to work. If we go this color, these are going to have to be more like a red. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. So how about we make them like a blue? I'm feeling blue. Ooh, I like that. Look at that blue. That is awesome. Nice blue. Okay, we'll take these three. And we'll take them that color. Oh yeah, that blue is sharp. Okay, so now... We're going to take these here. We're going to combine them into one shape. We're going to take these. We got to do a little maintenance here real quick. This is important to do as you're doing the picture. Sort of keep your layers in place. Keep your objects in place so that if you have to go back and start moving things around, that maintenance is already sort of done in a way. What is this? I didn't realize that was still back there. Okay, so here, 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 and here. Bring them to the front. Group them. Fantastic. Now, watch this. It's going to be real easy to shade this because we'll just copy this down like this. Go here, 20. Like this. Cut it. Select it and paste inside. You see that? And it sort of auto shades it for us in a way. In a way. Because then what we got to do is sort of move this because that doesn't really make sense right there. See that though? It's sort of moves it over in this direction would we see a faint pupil maybe would each one of these eyes have like a very faint i'm feeling like they would like maybe i don't know it sort of makes sense to me what do you think like a little tiny pupil in each one to sort of help sell the point I kind of like it. We're in full-on experimental mode again, folks. Just like we were earlier. Make this one smaller. I don't want them all the same size. Copy, paste, drag it. All right, we'll go even smaller. I like it. Small, small, small. I like that. Looks really cool. Because <clears throat> I'm starting to get into like, how do I, how do we start doing more of this kind of stuff, right? I like that. 
Okay, now to really sell this, we're going to do it again. So we're going to go here, take this. You know what, actually? Give me a second. We need to redo the way this is done. We're going to take these. We're going to ungroup them for a minute. Because we want to take and we want to copy this down. We want to delete this. Choose this. Here, 20. Now watch this. We're going to shade in here like this. You see that? This is going to have, I think, a little more detail than I normally do because of the way that I want to do it. But I really want to see how far we can take this. And I don't want to use the word realistic because realistic is not really what I do, right? But I want to see just how detailed we can make this and really make it look sharp, I think. It's going to be kind of the goal with this picture. We'll see. You, everyone should know by now that's been here before. We don't really know what we're what what we're working on until we do it. So Okay, select here here. Okay, here we go. Nice. I like that. So we don't really want to make the edges look sort of 3D. I think we'll stay away from that. I think we'll just sort of play with this. Okay. Nice. Should we give this a mouth? Would this thing have a mouth? I guess it's the question. I don't know if I like the round there. I like the body though. Just wanted a little smaller, I think. I don't know if this would have a space for a mouth or if it would just be sort of Let's resize these two. I don't like they're too big. Okay, cool. That works. So let's do a go to here. Yeah, very cool. Let's move these back. Yep, that'll work. So here we have this, okay? Now we're going to I don't know if I want that eye to be cut out like that now. In fact, I don't think I do. I think we're just going to redo that. We're just going to delete that and redo that entirely. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's take... Let's copy this eye. I like the sizing of this eye. And let's make this match. So what we'll do is copy paste and we'll blow it up. We'll get rid of the shading. We'll grab the color here. I'd say, yeah, right about there. Sorry, trying to get my brain to focus here. Okay, so back one, delete this. Nice. Because I want this to be sort of like a, not really a threatening robot. I'd say more, almost like, um, I don't know. Something that would be more of like maybe out of a kid's book or something is what I'm sort of feeling at this. I just really want to get the shading right. So it looks like he's sort of staring into the sort of down in front of him. So maybe he's turned off or something. We're not really sure. But we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. We'll let the picture tell a story. And we'll just let it kind of guide us into the direction we want to go. So. All right, I'm digging that. For the arms. What should we do for the arms? I don't know if I want to do just like little sort of like the normal little, you know, uh, what you would call it, like little hooky or like claw arms or something? I, you know what I need? I either need to make or I need to find crosshatch brushes. Let's experiment for a minute. We're going to experiment for a minute. Bear with me. We're going to go here. We're going to go here. This is going to look kind of odd for a minute. So you're just going to have to kind of stick with me here. What we're going to do is we're going to go into painter mode or what's called um, pixel mode. And we're going to see, I want something that has a, I'd like something that has cross hatching. I don't know if I have any brushes that actually do a cross hatch. Because I really want it, you know, it might here. 
I might actually have that. Let's go back here. Do I have it here? What is this? Nope. Change the color. I mean, that could sort of work as a cross. Brushes. I gotta look into this. I gotta see what I can find. I want brushes that do a crosshatch, for sure. Now, how do I find them is the question. Y'all even know what I'm talking about by crosshatch? Or no? I don't have anything that has a crosshatch. Um. Nope, nope, nope. What is this? More like a chalk. Nope. Pattern painter. What does this do? Uh, literally paints pattern. That's not what I'm looking for here. Where did these brushes come from? I don't like them. Texture. Okay. Texture. Texture. One more. A few more. Uh, do, 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 drafting. I have these, but I don't like the way they work because they sort of Yeah, that's too big. All right. That'll be an off-screen sort of thing. I'll play with this. I don't know how I want that to work yet. Have some treats, space cat. <laughs> Let's move this down. Sorry, I'm sort of zoning out here. I kind of got sidetracked. I really would like to do some cross hatches on this. I guess if I want to do them, I'd really have to sort of draw them in myself. So the way I would need to do this is come in here and sort of shade this in like this. Here, here, cut it, and then select both of these and group them. You see that? That way it would sort of shade it down. If I really want to do stuff like that, I'll have to do it by hand. Maybe I'll make my own crosshatch brushes. That might be what I got to do. I'll do some research later. Okay, cool. I like that. Now, what do we want on its head? Do we want, like, thing coming out of its head? Do we want... I mean, obviously, we're going to need a shade sort of down this side of the head from the top, I'm thinking. Because I want the light to sort of be coming from this direction. Let's go here. Okay. And then we'll kind of come this way with it as well. We'll kind of come down here and sort of follow that shape. You guys will see this start sort of popping and coming to life here in a bit. As we progress. Okay, there and there. Okay, cool. So let's do... At the edge of this would be another sort of shade, like here. Yep. So we take you, you... You and so that would actually no, nope, it would actually work with this one. These two would sort of work together. Nice. Okay, cool. And then the shade sort of pushing everything down in this direction. Uh, so that's that's looking good. Um. So then the shading would sort of follow this natural sort of shape here. And this is sort of a technique you just kind of learn over time. A lot of people, they, they say, like, how do you learn shading or where do you learn shading? Honestly, it's just from doing it. Uh, you kind of start to get used to how to make these uh, shapes and shades and stuff like that. For me, it was just doing them repeatedly. Repeatedly. All right, let's do... Um, I like the way that looks. Let's do here, like, would be... Um, maybe a little panel, like a little hatch, maybe? Sort of on his chest. Let's do that. Maybe a little door. So here. His body almost reminds me of like the old Apollo spaceships in a way. 
So, um... Okay. Now, there's two ways we can do this. We can either leave it like this, which I don't want to, or I'll show you the other way we can. I would actually take it, copy it, paste it, bring it in, sort of like here, give it back that same color, because what we're trying to do is sort of emulate that, um, oh, this is two point. Like this is sort of an edging on a door, I guess. Good looking. It works. Yep, cool. See that? Now we'll do like a little knob or something that would sort of be holding the door in place. So we'll do like a little knob here. And for that, we'll do it light. And then we'll just shade it down. Kind of like we've been doing all along. See that? And we'll make it slightly bigger so it sort of encompasses the entire knob. And then for the knob itself, do the same thing. Shade it down. And see, what I'm doing for this is um, I'm using a dark gray with a 20% opacity. So there's a cool trick with that. Um, if I take this and we make it blue, and I do what I just did, I'll show you how that works. There's a lot of people that get curious about this. All right, so that right there is the shade on that orb, okay? And that is a dark gray shape with a 20% opacity. But what's cool is... If I take this and paint it inside of the shape and I change it to whatever color I want, you can see that the shading changes with the color, right? So I could go purple, we could do pink, we could do whatever. And because this color is separate from the base color and it's sort of that opaque gray, it's going to it's going to work. You could do the same thing with like a um you could do the same thing with a white, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If we go here, and we take that white and we go like 40%. You see how it sort of shades the other side of that ball with the white? Well, same thing. If we take this, we go green, we go red, we go, you know, blue, whatever. It's going to work like that. So it's a really cool trick that sort of allows you to quickly shade things. Um, and that's what we essentially did here. All right, let's do... We're going to leave that door sort of like that because I like the way it looks. Um... What about, should we give him legs or should we give him like a wheel? Because I'm stuck on that. I want to have like pipes coming out of his head, like maybe exhaust. Uh, We'll grab this light color. Yeah. Let's go here. You guys will notice, I don't really sketch. I just sort of draw. And you're seeing it's the process live. What I actually come through. Or what I go through. Because all of this just sort of happens organically. We don't really plan much out here. Oh, uh, I don't like the way that looks. We got a host. I don't like the way that looks. Hey, Stinky Biscuit. Thank you for the host. How are you? Appreciate that. I don't think I like that. Or if I do, this needs to be a little more like this. Yeah. But let's finish. I have a vision. I don't know if the vision is going to work, but we're going to do it. I want like a pipe in a pipe, if that makes sense. So we'll kind of go here and we'll go to the back. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm doing good. We're just uh, doodling. Working on some robots. I kind of felt like drawing a robot. So we're just doodling and making this weird little robotic dude. Um, just having fun with it. No real... No real reason. Just cause. Alright, so we're gonna give this a stroke of... Yes. Now that stroke needs to change, so we're gonna go with like a 1. I've been doing a lot of scenery stuff lately, uh, Stinky, and I wanted to sort of change that up a bit. Because I want to do more scenes, but I want to also make sure that I'm doing character stuff as well. Not just scenes and scenes and scenes and scenes, you know? So I'm trying to make sure that I'm staying on top of that and staying aware of that. Because I sort of challenged myself this year. I want to do more like scene, like studies of different things. So like scenes and, and colors and gradients. And I really want to do like a deep dive on different styles of arts and see what we can come up with. Sort of um, improve my craft in a way.
What color would this be? I'm gonna go with down here. Let's make this more of an oval. Yep, go like this, perfect. I like this. I sort of want like pipes with smoke coming out of his head. I don't know if that's gonna make sense though, right? What do you think? Yes, no? Because I want to take this one, flip it, send it to the back, and I want to make it look different. So I sort of want to make it smaller and make it sort of up here. I think it would, yeah. I just don't want it to look like horns, right? Because I don't want it to look like some sort of a... Uh, I want it to look robotic. I don't want it to look like humanoid or mammal in any way. So I want it to look like pipes. So what we'll do is we'll kind of do some bent pipes like this. And then we'll do some smoke coming out of him. I think that'll look pretty cool. So we'll actually bring him down a bit. Kind of down like this. Yeah, because uh, here's the scene studies. I don't know if you saw him stinky. This was the first one I did. It was sort of this um, desert sort of farm scene. Pretty cool image. And um, I really tried to go heavy with the contrast. So that the, the picture sort of propelled itself out. And, um, and then we did another scene. And then today, earlier, I did this. Which was a science fiction sort of inspired... Almost um, Star Wars inspired kind of theme. I wanted to do like this this rate the speeder like zooming across the ground, right? And I wanted the colors to be really sort of cyberpunk, like very vibrant is what I was going for. And because um, I'm trying to get better with like scenes in general so that I have a better grasp of how to make them and what to do with them, I should say. All right. So this dude's looking pretty cool. Let's sort of drop him in here like this. And we'll do the smoke here in a bit. I think we need to work on what will become the hands and the arms. So we have a better understanding of that. And there's two ways. We can either do a stroke sort of dominated arm. Which would sort of be like this. Right? And then giving it a stroke. And then making the stroke whatever side we want. So they would almost look like thin, wispy wires or something, you know. Which that isn't bad. Um, not sure that's the look I'm going for, though. Um, we could also do like pipes or tubing. We could do... Um, we could just do... They could just be like cylinders. So we could kind of go like this with no stroke. I swear, like, every one of my streams turns into a learning episode. <laughs> one of these days, I'll actually plan. We'll, we'll be ahead of the curve. I'll plan, and we'll actually say, today, we're drawing this, and we won't treat it like such a learning thing. But I like it. This is how I grow, you know? So if we did that arm, it would sort of be there, right? I don't like this whole idea. We're going to scrap it. And I don't know if I like those shoulders, to be honest with you. I don't think I do. I don't think I like the balls. I think I want to do something else. What is that something else? I don't know if I want to do like... <laughs> You're alright, what about them? You're alright. Sounds like my mom. Pipe like arms, yeah? I'm trying to figure out what kind of arms we want here, water bottle. On this little robot, dude. Uh, let's do a... Instead of the round, let's do this. Sort of like an arm, a piece of armor on the shoulder. Or what would look like a regular piece of armor. Let's just see what this looks like. It may be crud, and if it is, meh. It's all well and good. Let's try and see what this looks like. Uh, let's flip it. Okay. We could. Yep. Trying to see. I kind of like that shape better than the circle, though. I'll be real about it. 
Like, I like that better than the circles. I don't know about y'all or if you saw the circles, but that looks a lot better to me. So what we'll do is we'll take this one and we'll sort of meet it right there. That way it sort of matches. Yeah, that looks much better. It, it has a better feel to it. The circle just felt, yeah, I get right. Okay. So for the arms, and then we need to figure out what kind of leg we want to do on this dude. I'm thinking maybe we could do a bunch of tiny legs. Like he's almost like a centipede. That whole feel. Like make them real tiny, like little tr sharp triangles. So he would almost walk like a spider. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I think um, very Tim Burton-ish. Sort of like these little sharp, pointy legs. You don't like that idea, do you, Water Bottle? You don't like spiders? No. <laughs> I hear ya. Did you see the one I did today, Water Bottle? The uh, sci-fi scene? I did earlier. That was pretty cool. We um, I went really like I'll pull. I'll show you. I had it open earlier, right here. I went really heavy with the gradient use on that, but I was really trying to explore vibrant, 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 almost cyberpunk sort of eighty sort of this. I wanted this really sort of strange feel to it. Um, yeah, I wanted that sort of. You know what I mean? I wanted it to really pop. Because, I mean, how often do we do green grass, brown trees, white clouds? You know what I mean? That's all the time. So it was like, let's do something crazy. Let's, like, really hit it. And I really like the way this, like, you know one of my proudest things about this picture, which is odd. First, I love the way this engine looks right here. And you don't really see it that well in that picture, but I love the way that engine turned out right there. And then I love the smoke here. The smoke and then the stream of light where it's sort of speeding. I just really, really liked the way that turned out. It had a really, it just really struck home with me. I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. I like this. And then we got this little guy here sort of piloting it. And then the story is whatever it is. You know, I don't know if he's smuggling goods or, or what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. This was fun. This was fun. This might be this might be my next YouTube vid. What about I might do this one? I don't know. I'd be hard pressed to draw that in like twenty minutes. So if I had to draw that in twenty minutes, oh, we could do it. It would be it'd be freaking challenging, but I could do it. I could do it. Hey, Sats, how you doing? Good to see you, my man. I don't know. I don't know what my next YouTube video is going to be. We'll figure it out. It might be this guy if we finish this little robot. So for those who don't know, what I'm doing with my YouTube videos is I've sort of changed the format on them a little bit. I'm taking old pictures I've done and I'm redrawing them. But I'm doing them in the way that they're for a YouTube video, right? Because um, it can be really hard to just sit down and draw and get a good, clean, concise YouTube video because you can't really make mistakes. You sort of have to start and finish. So what I'm doing, I mean, you can edit it out, but even that more work. So what I'm doing is I'm taking like old pictures I've done previously and I'm just totally redrawing them and capturing them for the YouTube footage. So um, that's kind of the way I'm working with that right now. So just so everyone knows. <clears throat> so far, so good. Thank you, Snicky. I appreciate that. We're almost to 200 subscribers on YouTube, guys. That's a thing. Who knew? Yeah. You know, it's funny, Water Bottle. Like, I realized a long time ago that I needed to pay more attention to YouTube. Because I hit 100 subscribers, like... Um, I hit 100... Sub I hit 100... I want to say, like, six months ago? And I literally went from 100 to, like, 180 just with the videos I had up there, you know? So I was sitting there and I was thinking to myself, if I made almost 100 subscribers in six months and didn't really upload much, what would happen if I actually put content? You know what I mean? And that's when I was like, well, darn, let's get some content up there. You know, so, and I have a buddy. I don't know if you've heard me talk about it before. Oh, thank you, Sticky, I appreciate that. My, um, I have a buddy, he makes a living on YouTube. He's been doing it for about 10 years, and his full-time job is YouTube now. And I ask him, for anyone out there that wants to do YouTube, 
I'm going to give you the one secret that he shared with me. And he literally makes a better living than me doing YouTube. Okay? So, listen up. Um, he told me the number one thing to get on YouTube is content, 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 content. He said, of course you want to have good videos. Of course you want to have... You want to be concise and you want to be clean. But he said, the thing that YouTube looks at to recommend your stuff is content. You having a lot of content to provide. And how long are your videos watched? Those are the two things that get you ranked. He said, you know, tags and titles and all that are important. But he said, having the content is where it's at. Because you, you don't really break into their algorithms until YouTube's algorithms sort of figure out where you belong in the YouTube world. So once they understand what your content's all about from having enough of it, then it starts, it starts recommending you to people. So he was like, you really just got to sit there and get that content in. And I was like, all right, cool. Do away. Thanks, Stinky. Appreciate that. And I was like, man, I never thought of it like that. But he said that is the number one thing he tells people all the time when he goes to like conventions and stuff. And people are like, oh, it just hit me on the legs. It just hit me. I got it. Got it. I got it. I got it. Watch. We are going to do sort of spider-like, but not in the way I was talking about. Come on, brain. Pull this out. Because you guys, like I've said before, I don't really sketch too much. So you're seeing a literal live feed drawing of what I do. Oh, yeah. This will look cool if I can pull this. Uh, that? Yeah, but I was really digging that picture I did today. It really made me want to do some cyberpunk stuff. Like, I really want to do some... I want to take this here, and I want to do more. So we need to come up with some ideas on, like... I want to do, like, a cityscape. I want to do, like, maybe some buildings, like gas stations and stuff. I really want to play with this, this color palette and this style. Because I think we could do some really sick stuff that would probably be pretty unique. And the colors in that are just freaking awesome. Yeah, I want to do more of that, for sure. Alright, so we're going to go here. We're going to take this. We're going to modify it. No. We're going to hand draw it. Yep, that works. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be cool if I can do this. This might creep people out, in a way. For anyone that's an artist, whether it be music, whether it be art, you'll kind of understand how this works. Like your brain is is visualizing something. You can see it, you can hear it, or whatever, right? And it's like right there. And you and you try to force your brain to to produce it. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. And this is almost bigger than what I wanted. So we're actually going to shrink this in a hair. Sort of like right here, I think. Yep. And now we're going to have to project. We're going to do four legs. The speeder? Oh, yeah. Sass. I had so much fun. I streamed that one earlier, actually, bud. And uh, it was just... It was really hitting home with me. Now, something I did here, since I don't normally use gradients, right? This was a very heavy gradient picture for me. But I really wanted to see how far we could push it. Because this was sort of a building on this one. Remember, we did this one, gamer. That was the first time I was like, all right, let, let's get real with this. And then I figured, let's keep going, you know? So I have another um, idea for a scene. We might start on it tonight, uh, depending on how far I get with all this. Yeah, right? I know, I know. I could turn this into a background if you want. If you guys want, I could turn it into a background and make it... 16 by 9, we can turn it into, uh, you know, full HD, if you guys want. I don't mind. Just let me know. Make a really cool background. I would have to expand the image out, but it'd be worth it. <laughs> well, thank you, gamer. I appreciate it. That's like the third or fourth scene I've ever drawn, in all seriousness. Because I don't really, I don't really do scenes, and that's something I'm trying to rectify this year. This year is all about growth, getting better at what I do in all aspects. 
The only way I'm going to do that is by doing it, right? Getting in there and actually making it so. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. I, I've done some stuff I'm not particularly proud of, but um, but I'm also a realist, and I realize that um, I realize that we all have to grow and learn, right, from something, and that that's the important part. Is like, let me give you an example, guys. Let me give you an example real quick, if y'all don't mind. Let's jump back to 2017 when I started drawing, okay? Uh, I'll give you some examples. And you're going to see real quick, well, you should see real quick, what I'm talking about. So this would have been, let's see, one of the first pictures I ever did was right here. So I was experimenting with outlines. I was experimenting with noise. I was experimenting with shading. This is terrible. Now, I say that objectively because I made it, right? Um... And this is when I was first learning vector art. I had no idea what I was doing. All I knew is I wanted to make stuff, right? So it was like, okay, how do I begin? The shading's wrong. Like, look at this. I have shading on this eye. I don't have shading on this eye. I've got shading here. I don't have shading here. Um, th these lines are not, not good. But, you know, it was a sort of... This was me trying to make traditional into vector art, right? Well, I appreciate it, but... Looking back on it, I can see where the shortcomings are, right? Um, let's see here. This was another one. This, this piece drives me nuts. It's, it, it's hideous. And it's okay because, again, it was a learning piece. But I was learning how to do lighting, how to do shading, how to do different things, right? And it was one of those things where without this, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. And that's totally cool because... That right there should be the method of everyone, whether it be music, writing, art, anything in life. You've got to get better, you know, and, and that's where you have to sort of push yourself to say, okay, how do we get better at this? And so I've gotten better by by forcing myself to say, okay, I'm going to learn this. I'm going to do this. And over time, you begin to build this. And I would assume music is the same way. I don't do music, right? But I would over time, you sort of build this repertoire like this deposit of things you can pull from. You know what I mean? Exactly, gamer. I'd love to read some of your stuff one day, by the way. If you ever... I don't know where you posted or stuff. I would love to see some of it. If you ever want a, a set of eyes on it. I'd love to see what you got. i love to read. Did y'all see the album cover I did? Not too long ago? I did a commission for an album cover. Did I show you all that? So this, this band, they're sort of a small indie band. Hang on, I'll pull it up. No? Well, let me open it real quick. This was like the second album cover I've ever done. I'll pull up the two that I've done. Um, granted, I'm not a pro at this, okay? So bear with me. Where are they? Right here. So these people... They're sort of an indie, um, they're sort of an indie, um, they saw, this was my original picture. I don't know if you guys remember this one. This was, <laughs> no, <laughs> I put this picture, this was in my first year of doing this stuff, right? This was one of the first pictures I did. While I enjoyed it, there were some things that I needed to improve on with it, okay? So this band saw this and they've been following me ever since. And they like all my stuff, and they were big supporters. One day, they're like, "Hey, we want an album cover very similar to this picture." And I was like, "Okay," but they were like, "We want a girl in it, and we sort of want her crying in like a tattered or like a dress." But we we love the contrast in your colors. I said, "Okay, cool." So I took this, and what we did was we modified it into this. And so what they wanted was they wanted the heavy purples, and they wanted the heavy contrast through the scene. Okay. But what they wanted was they wanted it in a heavy vector style. So they wanted to have this girl that sort of looked torn and contorted. And this is what we finally went with. They wanted a slight glow around her and they wanted tears in her eyes, right? Now this is leans heavily on this original picture. But this is what I did when I first started and here's where I gravitated, right? So there's things I like about both images, but this is what they wanted. And I was like, okay, awesome. Totally go for it. And so, the cool part is, is like, this type of art, 
appeal to people you know whether it be a band or whether it be somebody just looking for like a family photo or something it's some people they just like the style you know and, and i think it turned out great like i really love it and they're um they're going to be releasing the album later this year uh in about two months i think actually and they're gonna do some post processing on it with like a um, band logo or band name and um they might have me help them with it and i told them sure but they specifically wanted these purples and these contrasts and stuff so and you can see just how much better this is right this wasn't bad but this is much better it's got a much more clean appearance to it so that right there just shows that progression in learning there's gonna be a celeb i haven't posted anywhere i should think about that you should gamer i would love to see i would love to i'd love to read some of your stuff man if you ever want to just get a, a second opinion on something like i love to read man maybe you worry about it we'll see you know, I do it because I love it, and I'm just glad people enjoy what I do. I really am. Because I know I say it a lot, but it's so utterly true. Like, when I started streaming, I really had no idea how people were going to, you know? Like, you just don't know, you know? You don't really understand how what your impact is going to be or what your audience is going to be. And I think anybody that streams can relate to that. Oh, I was doing some animating earlier, actually. I was doing some uh, vector animations earlier. You want to sort of have this dude, like, crawling, I think. Yeah, I want these to look very Doc Ock, very mechanical looking. Have you ever shared your writing, Sass? Or have you never shared them with anyone? Are they more of like a personal thing where you haven't really gone out and made a major, major babies out in the world kind of thing? Because I know that's how a lot of people are. They do art and do writing like they... They struggle crossing that bridge into the next realm, which would be sharing it with other people, which I totally understand. It can be very intimidating to share your stuff. It can be extremely intimidating. But only say, yeah. And I, I get it. I get it. You know, because it's, you know, writing is, is, it's really putting your, you know, most people don't see it, but when, when people write, it really tells you a lot about someone, you know, their beliefs, their habits, because your writing tends to sort of, your characters and stuff sort of, you know what I mean? Like it, you really put yourself into that and people can generally see those insecurities and they can see those, like those things because they're relatable, you know? So I know what you mean. It can be a tough thing. I was actually reading something the other day. There was this artist, really good artist. I've only seen like two of his things. And he said it scares him to even consider posting it. And I'm like, don't let it scare you. You know what I mean? Like you should be, you should be excited to post your work, you know? You know, cause I, I, I don't know. I, I look at it from a different side of the coin, I guess, because I'm also of the mindset that it's, you know, I realize that my art's not going to be for everybody. And I totally understand that. And that's okay. You know, not everybody's going to like this. And that, that's all right. I mean, Oh, this just gave me an idea for his arms. And I want smoke coming out of these little pipes on his head, but we're not there yet. Let me try on his arms. Bear with me a minute. So who won the, uh, the Super Bowl? Is anyone... Was anyone following, paying attention? I didn't even have it on.
Patriots, you think? I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if they did. We're going to go here. Yeah, yeah, we'll go here and then we'll just shade it. Yeah, we'll shade this down. This will be fine. Well, I was slipping, water bottle. I, I had been for, forgetting to add picture to the uh, slideshow. So I went in today and I added a bunch of those pictures into the slideshow. Like the one I drew with you and the birthday cake thing. It was like a bunch of stuff I just hadn't... I forget to export to the slideshow so that stuff shows. You know? And see, one area that I really struggle, we're going to do some major studies on this, is perspective. Thank you. <laughs> perspective drawing. I've got to get better at perspectives. And that's, you'll notice that I'm sort of doing it, and I'm doing it sort of unintentionally. But like with this, I'm trying to do like a sort of a slight perspective. Because perspective is something I'm very weak at. And it's something that I'm really trying to master and get better. So, you may see me do some goofy stuff while I learn it, but... Kind of giving myself a task here. To the back. And then it'll be in my arm like this. Okay, cool. I like the way that looks. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm digging it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. These aren't like freaky or anything, are they, water bottle? Like they they look right. I mean they're not Okay. Because I have an idea for the hand. I'm gonna show you. I wanna make the arms match the legs, but I wanna do it in a way that's kind of interesting. Because it was funny, when I started drawing this robot, I was like, oh, I want this robot to appear nice. And now that I'm drawing him, I almost want him to appear sort of, uh, hey, Hug, how you doing over there on YouTube? So, I don't sketch, unfortunately. Um, I'm learning to sketch, but I basically just take it straight to paper. Um, I did buy an iPad Pro, though, and I'm learning how to be more productive with my sketching. I'm getting better at it. But nine times out of ten, it's literally... Me. I don't really have a particular you want evil give him red eyes okay all right man y'all y'all got nasty on me quick I said evil man y'all jumped all over that all right we'll go evil we'll give him like a, a sith for a hand scythe sith however you pronounce it <laughs> All right, let's go here, 20, cut, and paste in. That way we're sort of shaded against that, you see? And then we can just make this as big or small as we want. So we'll kind of pretend like his hand is sort of like part of that joint tucked back. You know what I mean? You want to give him red? Watch this. I built these in a way that that'll be really, really easy to do. I was actually talking about this, I think, right before you got here, Thaps. You might have been here, though. Um, Basically, if we change the color of these red eyes... um then um, the shading stays persistent. So we need to go slightly lighter here, not too much. Okay, we'll do it. Yeah, I like it, I like the red. So he's gonna be more of like an attack robot then, I guess, is what we're gonna be dealing with here. And see, his hand is obviously very menacing. Um, So we'll kind of Throw the hand back like that. Yeah, pretty cool. So this will go over this. And see, this is where the perspective stuff starts to come into play. Now, we're not technically going to see that. 
well, wait a minute. Would we want this hand to be outstretched with the, the scythe sort of coming down? Like maybe he's... What do you think? Or should we have him both sort of tucked at the side? If I could see either. Reaching? Yeah, almost like... Not really slashing, but more like a... Whatever this would thing would be doing. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to do smoke up here coming out of the pipes. And then I want to do a mouth. Let's do like a mouth. What kind of mouth would he have? Would he have a mouth? Like maybe some sort of a weird smile? Yeah, we're going to put smoke up here, gamer. Definitely. We're going to do some little clouds of smoke coming out of these pipes here. Because I want them to give the impression that they're like pipe. So maybe he's steam fed or, or something like that, right? Um, let's go here. So we'll go like this. Yeah, I didn't know if I wanted to do a raised mouth or like a small... I mean, there's several... I'll, I'll give you some... I'll show you some things we can do here. We could do something like this. That looks like sort of a, um, like maybe a small sort of, I guess the word would be a great. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Now that's a very quick sort of an example of it. Because we'd want to come in and balance it all out group it, turn it, make it sort of fit into here to the head, right? So sort of in this direction like this. More menacing. Hey, Phoenix. More menacing. So let's do, let's do, let's do something like more menacing. How about like this? How about we make it like a creepy sort of smile? So how about we do something like this? Almost like a, uh, maybe he, think uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, maybe he's some sort of a, what was, like, a, supposed to be a friendly sort of bot. And maybe he's sort of not so friendly now. I don't know. All right, so if I wanted to do this, it would be, let's go with Dark. And then we could do like, you see, I hope you can understand what I'm doing here. It sort of looks like it's embedded inside, right? And then we can almost make this look like he has teeth in a way. Well, what we can do is, we can do the teeth in a way, like watch this. We can do the teeth in a way that they're sort of menacing in themselves. Good to see you, Phoenix. How you doing tonight? Bear with me. I know he... <laughs> Hold on. I can already see the... What the heck is this guy doing? Now, this is just an example, but does it even come across? Like, he, this is like hillbilly danger robot, right? Um, But we could do more like sharp teeth, round teeth. We could do all different kinds of things. Good, just done, done playing, starting to wind down. <laughs> I'm good, Phoenix. I'm good. You don't like the hillbilly looking? Come on, water bottle. He looks derpy. You like the great more? All right, well, what if we change the teeth? Hold on, hold on. What if we did a gear teeth? We gotta test stuff, guys. We gotta test stuff. What if we did like something like, does this even make sense? <laughs> we have to exhaust all options. Uh, super dangerous, right? It almost looks like a mustache. Does anyone else see that? I literally almost. It almost looks like a like a mustache upside down in a way. I can't be the only one that sees that.
We can give him a tongue. We can give him a metallic tongue. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's excited to see you. Super excited. Yeah, right? Too excited. He looks like a Seven's octopus. Way extremely too excited to be doing what he's doing. Alright, so let's get rid of these. We'll go back to the grate for now. Well, y'all brainstorm. I don't know. I'm My vote is right here. The hillbilly teeth. I kind of like them. Alright, we'll go back to the grate. And then we'll think about it. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll figure out like a different mouth or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll brainstorm on it. All right, let's go with. Oh, we need. I'm thinking a third leg, sort of coming. Maybe some sharp teeth in inside of that mouth shape we had. You mean? Should have a claw hand. We can try it. So far, we just have the one sort of... We have the one sort of whatever you would call this. Like a sharp thing here, right? And it's in the... the um, Not 100% yet. So should we do like this and try to make them look sharp? So we could take... Triangles? Or no. We'll take diamonds. Watch this. If we get something we like, then we can shade it in, okay? <laughs> this guy, this guy. <laughs> he, he looks like he's posing for like a school picture or something. As he has that sort of like, you know what I mean? He's just like, uh. That's <laughs> smaller? All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I totally get like second grade picture time. Out of the, he looks like he's got that. <laughs> he looks like he has that. You know how kids they have that smile where they're just sort of like, you know what I'm talking about? That's what it totally looks like to me. All right, what if we do this? Where we fail, we succeed, right? Y'all don't like my little happy robot, man. Darn it. Okay, now watch this. I like the way that looks. I don't know about y'all. And then what if we did... You, you see what I mean? It sort of looks like that's what a mouth would open. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, uh, think like the Tin Man, right? You sort of have that jaw that would hinge and lower. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I kind of like the way that turned out, actually. Um, how menacing do we want this thing to be? Right? Because you got to remember our rating here. Would there be... I mean, we don't want to put, like, blood or anything out right on it. But, I mean, that would make sense. And then look at this. I got it. Everybody's going to love this. It's fun to mess around. You know, in all seriousness though, guys, this is sometimes where you find new things, right? Like you're trying things, you're playing with things, and then 
you're like, oh, wow, that actually doesn't look bad, you know? This is what it's all about. All right, so let's do... I do like the mouth. Yeah, the mouth is sharp. Now, would this be on the mouth? Is that weird? Or does that sort of make sense? Now it almost looks like a raised speaker or something, right? Yeah, in a way it does, right? Okay, cool. So let's um, let's work on. You said a claw for a hand sass. Are you thinking almost like Kruger, like Freddy? Is that what you're thinking? Something like very uh, articulated. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so oil smudges. So like maybe he ripped apart another robot or something instead. So it still sort of looks violent, but not violent in the sense that it's okay. Now I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Okay, let's do this. Let's copy all this over. Good to see you, Phoenix. I'm glad you're here, buddy. Did you see my picture earlier today, Phoenix? I don't know if you saw that. We did a really unique picture. Okay, hold on. I'll grab it. Because I was really proud of that one. So, I've been doing some scene studies. I don't know if you've seen them on social media. But we drew this here. And I really enjoyed the contrast. And I'm trying to get into drawing more scenes so that I can sort of grow and continue to learn, right? So, we made this here. And then, yeah, this is pretty cool. Now, check this one out. So, I wanted to take, and I want to do something very sort of sci-fi, sort of cyberpunk mixed together. A very animated looking picture. So, then I made this, right? And this one, I really, really popped to me. The colors are just really cool. And I made this speeder. It's sort of like, you know, like flying through land here. And then, um, I did this sort of heavy, heavy gradient image here with sort of really unique looking clouds and stuff and tried to give, you know, like a large sun and multiple moons or planets or whatever the heck these are back here. Um, and then, you know, these weird plants and this weird tree and just trying to start playing around with how do we make, how do we make scenes? How do we do stuff besides just characters, right? Because I mean, characters are fun, but at the same time, I want to get better at other stuff. Um, so it was pretty, it was pretty fun. Yeah, because I'm really trying to, uh, I'm really trying to expand a little bit this year, if I can. Oh wait, I can set the pivot point, right? can forgot about that. We can set the pivot point right there. Look at that. You guys haven't seen me do that. This is how you would do animations. Uh, for anyone who's curious about animation, animation works on pivot points, right? So, this is how you would do animation if you wanted to, um... Do a, uh, like a PNG sequence animation. So you could actually do a sprite sheet and you could have a separate, you could animate this way. Or you could do like move it here, right? And then on the next frame have the arm here and then on the third frame have the arm like here. So this is how you would do that if you wanted to animate in Affinity Designer. But then you would compile it into a sprite sheet, export the sprite, the sprite sheet, and then every frame would input as a single part of the animation. If that makes sense. Yeah, you can do it though. I'm gonna turn this just a bit more. Sort of like this. Nice. Now we're gonna take this, shade it down. Yeah, but I said I sort of decided, Phoenix, we're gonna um I wanna have some growth this year, you know? Like I really wanna I wanna take what I uh my tools and my assets and I want to play with getting better. So that's sort of the goal this year is learn and grow and be proficient with what I do. All right, so let's do some crazy fingers. Think like Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, what's up? Crap, 
Yes. Yep. You totally could. So you would take these, you would set the pivot point here and see you could do this. See that? Yep. And the way you would do that is, um, and so like you could do it here on the neck as well. Like let's say we selected all these shapes and we set the pivot point right here. You could have it bend at the neck or you could have it bend if you wanted to move it further up, you could have it bend right here below the head. You know, but then the neck, you see what that does with the neck? So what you want to do is you got to get used to where pivot point would be. It would make sense the pivot point would be there. So then the neck moves with the head, right? And you could do the same thing with the legs. Like you could come down here, you could select all this. Yep. This is, just, this is the basis of animation. This is, think of this as like a primer into what animation can become. This is sort of... Uh, keyframe style animation is what that would lead to okay and then you have a tweening style animation which is um, much fancier because I don't know if you know the difference between them Phoenix but tweening animation you want to see an example real quick I could show you if you'd like I don't do a whole lot of animation on here but I can show you what I mean by tween if you guys want to see it I want to go like this, bring it down, and I want this gap to be here, so we'll kind of go like this. We're going to, how do I want to do this? How did I know y'all would want an evil robot? Here I was trying to draw this nice little fella. <laughs> this will make more sense in a minute, I promise. Oh, I did find an awesome program. You guys want to see something really cool? Watch this. This is mind blowing. To me it is. So let's say you wanna use references. I don't know how many of you actually draw. Uh, here's a program called Pure Ref. So the way this works is, um, let me open up my slideshow folder. Check this out, Phoenix. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. So what you do is you open this software, okay? Let's say I wanted to reference everything in my slideshow category you bring it and you drop it here watch what it does it doesn't save the files to it it arranges them like in a systematic order and what you can do is you can scroll through this as references so instead of opening one image on one like little page you can drag in anything references you've saved from the internet whatever and then if you just want to you just scroll around through them you look at what it is you double click on one and it focuses you can resize this window so you can get, you know, a better look. You can move it around. But what it does, this is indefinite in size. And because it doesn't actually save the files, it doesn't actually save the files in the file that it creates. It's just a tiny little file, like 300K. What it does is it saves a link to where the files are from. So then you can open that original 300K file and it'll pull them all right back in. So basically, any file, any pictures you use as like a drawing reference or anything like that, you can actually, you know, see like here's the one I just did. That's in my slideshow. So there it is. So you could open this. You could sit right here. You could keep it as a reference while you're drawing off to the side or something. Pretty awesome software. Um, I was impressed. I was impressed, and it's completely free. So yeah, pretty amazing. I'm liking the shape. I'm liking the shape. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to do another ball shape. I got to make this perspective make sense in my head and then we'll finish it. 
Let's go like this. FYI, if my daughter starts coughing real bad or something, I may have to run. Because we might have to do a breathing treatment or something. If that becomes a thing, but I'll... We'll get rid of you. I know this might be hard to see because you guys can't really tell what I'm looking at yet. You might be able to, but this will make sense when I get done. Yeah. It depends on if she if she starts coughing real bad. So I think she's gonna be all right though, because we've done a couple breathing treatments today, and I think she'll be okay for the evening. Um, it could mess with her a little bit, but we'll find out. And we've been to allergy doctors and all kinds of stuff, and they all just sort of, oh, she'll outgrow it. Oh, she's seven. She ain't outgrown it yet. So, if I ain't outgrow, because I'm not seeing it. And I'll be honest with you, the hardest part about the whole thing is with school. Because school here, they, and they just assume she's sick. And they're like, oh, she needs to go home. And it's like, she's not sick, guys. She has allergies. And they're like, oh. <laughs> we're going to shorten this one. And we're going to shorten it by, by a lot. And then we'll have to do some shading. This is going to work. I just got to get the what I want right. I think sometimes because I work so quickly on a lot of things that when I sort of stumble, it 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 makes me start freaking out a bit, you know, because I'm so used to doing things so quickly. So I sort of have to remind myself that I'm still working quickly, just not as quickly as I might sometimes. Let's keep that there. All right, so I want this to sort of appear like this. Now, we're going to add more texture to these. The way we're going to do that, we're going to take this shape like this. We're going to go here, and we're going to go lighter, considerably lighter. And this is going to sort of give it that knife edge, if you will. Yep, perfect. So we'll copy this, paste it in here, and we're just going to drag these around. Yep, I like it. Okay, good. And then we'll go one more. And then see, that what this is going to help with is once I have the design of this hand down, it's going to make doing that other hand much, much, much easier. Uh, because what that's going to enable us to do is sort of... Um, use this as the design template for that one now it will look different it will have a different shape but it'll be the same you know basic concept so good stuff let's group this bring it to the front let's get rid of this one all right so now i have to make this make sense with shading and whatnot all right so Okay. Cut this out. Bring it to the front and group it. Take this and go to the back with it. Nice. Do you get what I'm trying to do here, Sass? Like, I'm trying to almost have this almost articulated sort of... Like he's, you know... 
I guess like this almost, you know? Now what we gotta do is we gotta shade it against the back of the hand here. See that? Yeah. And again, perspective is something that I'm still learning. So it, it, it's one of those things where my brain can see it, but it's a matter of making it work properly so that it, you know. Okay, I like it. Yep. Okay, so let's do, let's shift gears for a minute since my brain just sort of got fried making that, okay? We're going to do another leg. We're going to do another hand. I just want to come up here and do some smoke for a minute because my brain sort of went, all right, so we have two ways we can do smoke. I want to try like this. Do 15. Can y'all tell that smoke? Because then what I can do is I can come in with like some smaller ones, sort of like this. Or we could do, we could cut shapes out of it. I think it makes sense. I want to copy this. I want to, I want to cheat. I want to do one sort of in the back like this. We'll do another, like, almost in the back of his head, and we'll do another small one. Watch this. We'll do this one a little different. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Pretty cool. Different, you know? I do like this smoke better than these, though, so actually, I think I'm going to redo these. Nope, too much. And see, this here is literally just freehanding it. So, it, it's sort of just a custom shape, right? And we'll send it to the back, but then I can come in and I can take these points and sort of modify them around a bit. I don't know, I gotta let that sit because I mean I have other ways I can do smoke. I'm not sure if I want it to be that way or not. We'll think about it. All right, so let's do sort of a forward facing leg. This is gonna be tricky. This is scaring me, but I'm gonna do it. Um, Give me a minute while my brain sort of processes this. Okay, good. That's what we wanted for the first step. Now, this needs to be bigger because it's going to be the front leg, so it's going to sort of be here, I'm thinking. Yeah, 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 this is going to be itchy. Bring it in like this. You been playing any fun games lately, anybody? Anybody try Anthem? I'm just wondering if I should be more over here. Yeah, I think it should be more like this. That way we can sort of point the... I'm liking that better. Okay. Now, that's where the problem is. I have this the same color as this. I Means I might need to break up. You did? What did you think, Phoenix? Honest opinion. I know you liked it last time. How was it this weekend compared to last weekend? 
Because I didn't play it this weekend. I did play it last weekend. I didn't try it this time. Do you feel like it's ready? Do you feel like it's rushed? Because I'm hearing very, 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 very mixed opinions from some friends. I'm curious. didn't so but you played it last weekend so are you hearing any good news this weekend because i'm hearing people are it's more stable but i'm hearing like people are sort of still i mean obviously they're not going to unveil the whole game right before they launch it they're not going to do it but i feel like a lot of people it's either a love hate like right away either people seem to be enjoying it and they want to play it or people are just like no you know what i mean and then you look with like warframe is already out there which is free and then you have Destiny 2, which is coming along well. I mean, they've, they've got some good patches and stuff going on. They still have their issues. But I have a feeling Destiny 2, now that they've broken away, it's going to get better over long term. That's my opinion. But um, I was just curious because I feel like it's, I don't know, I feel like it's sort of a crowded space. And is there really need for another one? Does that make sense? I mean, they better nail it, is what I'm trying to say. They better nail it, because, uh, I mean, there's already competition, you know, that is doing pretty well. I mean, Destiny 2, for all its faults, is doing decent now, and Warframe is killing it. So, I mean, they need to have a product that's uh, ready to compete, the way I look at it. Or they're going to get swallowed whole. And did y'all hear that uh, Titanfall... I don't know if it's Titanfall 2 or Titanfall. One of them's going to go free to play. Now, I know that's not the same style of game. I know it's not a looter shooter per se. But you've got you've got Titanfall going to be throwing their hat in the ring here soon. You know, doing a free to play sort of uh, environment. So I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of competition out there right now for games. I think they're releasing it too. I think so as well, Phoenix. I think so as well. But you know what's wrong there? That's EA, right? Yeah, that's EA. EA's tired of waiting. They want their return. They've spent enough. They want their money back. So the 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 shareholders, the company, they're they're done waiting. So they've set a hard deadline, and it's coming out one way or another. And see, my opinion is, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna fall down the same rabbit hole that Star Wars Battlefront Two did. People were crazy hyped for it. People were excited. They're gonna release it. It's gonna have a lot of glitches. And then I think the the uh, the cash shop is gonna be ridiculous. And I think it's just gonna go right down that same rabbit hole. And then they'll have to retract everything, just like Star Wars Battlefront Two did. You know, that's my opinion. I don't think they've learned their lesson, and I don't think they plan on learning. And I think it's just going to follow suit. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. But I just don't see it. Oh, yeah, they do. They got a lot of stuff to get straight. It ain't release ready. It's nowhere near release ready. I would agree with you on that. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Because that is one of the games that I was really looking forward to this year. Anthem was one of the games I was like, you know what, I'm hyped, I want to see it, I hope it's a good game. I hope EA doesn't drop the ball like they did with uh, EA or with Battlefront. And I was like, come on, let's be good, let's be good, let's be good, you know, and I was getting pumped for it. And then I played that first weekend and I was like, this is what they have to show? Here we go, you know. It's weird. We live in a world now where it seems like these dev companies just can't, can't or refuse or, or don't know how to make a stable product anymore. Is, is it just me? But like, it's crazy. 
Seems like all the AAA stuff that comes out anymore is just a mess. A broken mess. Does that perspective work? Be honest. Not gonna hurt my feelings. I'm curious what you think. I'm. It's working for me. I think it needs a few adjustments. Um, we got a host. Welcome, everyone. Hey, water bottle. Thank you for the host. So the thing I'm excited for now, Phoenix, is Division Two, because. Again, we go back to, for all its faults, I enjoyed the first Division. I thought it was a fun game. I still think it's a fun game. Um, so, I'm... All I want now... All I want now... I just want the Division 2 to not be terrible. I just want someone to release a game that's fun and isn't broken. Please, just release a fun game. <laughs> that's all I want. Like, you know... Same for me, Phoenix. I couldn't get in Friday. Um, I finally got in on Saturday. The game was fun. Um, I feel like it's, it's, it's rushed, though. It's, it's a very rushed product. And you can tell that it's rushed. Um, it ain't ready. Whatever their release date is, what, it's the 15th? They are not ready for that mark. There's no way they're going to fix everything that needs to be fixed in that game in 10 days? No. Not even close. And I think what's going to be really sad is, because it's EA, when they launch, you know darn well, the cash shop is going to be their, their, uh, is going to be their go-to. Yep. Their cash shop is going to be like, the game isn't even going to be working right, they're going to be like, get this new skin, get this, and it's like, come on guys. Let's wait on that till the game's at least stable. We're talking about Anthem, water bottle. I don't know if you knew what we were talking about, but that's kind of what we're conversing here. We're complaining. We're like old people complaining. <laughs> yeah. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna fall flat on its face, I really do. And that's unfortunate because I was ex that was one title this year that I was truly excited about. What are you gonna do? I mean, there's one benefit to that, though, Phoenix. There's one benefit, right? Don't buy it. Give it a month, and it'll be 30 bucks, Right? And for 30 bucks, it'll be worth whatever problems it has, and they'll fix it. You know what I mean? And, that, and I hate to say it that way, but that's probably the outlook that I'll take on it, is give it... Um, you know, it's a $60 game, water bottle. Yep. And there's people who paid like eighty dollars for. I've got friends who bought like the the legendary edition, and friends who bought like the whatever the legend between legendary and basic is, which is, mm -hmm, yeah, it's the game isn't panning out well. Got a lot of problems. Uh, that would be. <laughs> That, that that would be like Christmas Miracle kind of stuff. Yep. Because I'll be honest with you, Phoenix. I wanted it. Like, I was... I would, that was one I was going to pre-order. But you know what I was waiting for, Phoenix? I wanted to see that first VIP weekend. Even if I didn't play it, I just wanted to see what people said. You know what I mean? And when I saw the reactions... Uh-uh. ain't getting my money. I, yeah, I have no doubt. It's going to be a fun game. They will eventually get that game to where it needs to be. But, you know, you know what kills me, though, is, like, why can't... And I've said this, and I said it earlier. Like, why can't these game companies just release a good product? Like, you know, it's 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 weird. It's I know there's a lot of testing that gets involved and stuff, but, like, just focus on the product. 
Make the product good. I want this hand to be right about here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see soon enough. A new server is going to be overloaded. Yeah, you know, and here's the thing, right? Like, I know people like to make excuses like, oh, well, you know, da 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 da. No, I work in IT. I don't buy those excuses. I just don't buy them. Um, my thing is this, right? We live in a world where we're smart enough to know. We're, we're smart enough to know when something is and isn't going to work, right? They've got to be prepared for that. They knew the hype around that game. Played both demoed well on Friday this weekend, but played mode with loads of fun. Okay, well, and see, so you're on list. I've got some friends who have ordered it as well, gamer. I just, I can't, I can't yet. I can't. I'm not sold. I'm not sold yet. I still feel like it's going to be what I feel like is going to be one of the big problems with it personally is I still can't get over the what happened with Battlefront 2. I still see that being an issue and they've been very sneaky with how they want to price things. You know what I mean? Because I'll be honest with you. We were talking about this earlier. I don't know if you heard of that. like that was one of the games I was going to pre-order this year. But I specifically wanted to see the VIP demo, and when I saw the demo and then I saw that leaked cash shop image, I was like, eh, I think I'll wait. I'll keep my money in my pocket. Well, let me know. Because it is a game I'm still interested in, as long as the game works. But let me know what your experience is. Like, are, is it functional? You know, can you play? Things like that. I am curious. You got a report on it for me, gamer. <laughs> Here's our little evil robot. Evil robot thingy. Shadow. Now I want to do something with the background. I'll show you guys. Very fine. Are you worried about cash shop stuff or no? Because I see two sides to the fence on that, right? I see some people that are like, I don't care what they sell in the cash shop because I don't buy it anyways. And then I see people to say like the cash shop doesn't bother me. And then I see people that are like, I hate the cash shop. What do you, what are y'all's opinions of Cash Shop? That's a good question. How do y'all feel about it? Don't care. Right. Okay. Yep. That's sort of the that's sort of how I feel about it too. Because I'm the type of person, as long as, uh, right. See, that's how I feel. I feel like people have started taking sort of a hard line on Cash Shops, right? Because I feel like if if somebody wants to spend. Like, if somebody wants to pay $60 for a game, and then they want to pay $60 for a skin to put on their mech, I don't care. I wouldn't do it. But that doesn't mean somebody else shouldn't have the ability to do it, right? So it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I can see, I can see the argument, but at the same time, people should have the ability to spend the money if they want. You know where I think that comes from, Sass? Is some people have a hard time believing that people have that kind of disposable income, I think. And I'm not trying to blast anybody. But, like, there are people in this world who make different money, right? Some people make a lot of money, and they don't mind spending it on something they enjoy, right? Those are the people they cater to. I realize to some people, they can't just blow $20 on a skin. That's a lot of money for them, and that's totally understandable. But you have some people that are like, I don't care if I spend $200 on a game, they have the money to spend, right? 
those are the people they target. Those are the ones that they want to target because they're like, well, I'd rather have it now. I just want to buy it. You know what I mean? And that that's understandable. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the same field as you, sounds like. I mean, that's how I feel about it. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but... What are we thinking for a background color, guys? Kind of like that. It pops. And we don't do a whole lot of orange backgrounds, but here's what we're going to do. Watch this. We're going to put an asset on it. And I will show you what that means. Group it. Nice. So we have one shape. Now, let's grab an asset. And we're going to go here to assets. And we're going to go into propaganda mask. Let's do like a, you know what, actually, hold on, Load the phone. Yeah, I was just curious what people thought about it, though, because I, I see a lot of different arguments on it, and I understand it. Everybody's going to have a different opinion. It's totally respectable, you know? Okay. Bear with me. not going to look the way it looks now. No. Okay. So we're going to turn this to multiply. But then we're going to put it on the image. Okay. Now, watch this. We're going to take this. We're going to mask it here. We're going to resize it. We're just going to get a visual on this. Go here and take it darker out there and see what it kind of does. No, let's do it like this then. Right now, watch this. We'll go with like 10%. Yeah, I say I, I understand what you mean, though, man. And I agree with you on that. Okay, so let's take this here, grab this color, go 100% on this, grab this color. Better. Do we like that sort of texture effect behind it? It kind of gets the point across subtly. Now, I'm not 100% sold on that color, but we're going to play with it. Don't worry about the shading. We'll fix the shading. We'll fix the shading. I've just got to figure out what color I want to blast. Phoenix, I get it, buddy. No worries. Um, have a great night. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you, as always. I will catch you tomorrow, probably somewhere in some stream, I'm sure. Have a great night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Playing around with colors here. Yes, I know. Uh, but I don't know if I will be up for his stream. Water bottle. I don't know if I'll be able to be up that late, to be honest with you. I'm going to, but I will at some point tomorrow say happy birthday to him. I just don't know if I can stay up that late. You know what I mean? Gamer, take care, buddy. Good to see you. Appreciate y'all coming in and showing some support. Have a great, great night. I will catch you later. I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming anyways. Water bottle probably... He thinks we're going for a 24-hour stream again. <laughs> but what do we think of the smoke at top? Does the smoke make sense? Night's ass.
I like this mode. Okay. If Sass says he likes it, we're going to keep it. Have a good night, Sass. What do we think as a final image? Awesome? Weird? I think he's cool. I like it like that. A little more muted. Let's go here and try something. I like that better. Yeah, I like it. Do you like the background color? Does it work? Can you guys see the... Can you see it all okay? Does everything function? It does for me. Because it the color makes the grays pop. It's sort of... It's a, it's a light yellow, but it makes the grays sort of pop out at you. And then we have the perspective with the leg, which I'm really proud of. That's the first time I've truly done a forced perspective with vector art. So I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. I like it overall. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think we're going to call that a, uh, a successful picture. And I think what we'll do is, um, yeah, we'll upload it to some socials and we'll do all that fun stuff. Very cool. Oh, it is 1220. Holy smokes. Um, let me see who's on that I would want to drop a stream on. And I'm sorry for starting late tonight, guys. Um, we had what we had, but uh, I will be streaming tomorrow during the day for anyone that wants to come in and check it out. If you can't, I totally understand, but we will be live tomorrow. Uh, who is on? Very few people. I know what we'll do. We'll drop it on uh, Air Raiders. I rarely ever get to drop it on Air Raiders. Let's go drop it on him. Because um, I rarely, rarely ever get to do that. Um, so anyways, folks, thanks for coming in. Thank you for the host. Thank you for the follow. So thanks for the support on DLive, Mixer, and YouTube. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys have yourself a great night. I will see you tomorrow. If you can stop in, if you can't, I understand. Until then, have a great evening. Water bottle, thanks for being here. Thanks for the help. Take care, everyone.